OG Percy, show no mercy. We back in the building, man. Okay, 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 okay. We we okay. We went live on the on the, on the last. One. We had we 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 had to get back at it. Man, I so appreciate you for popping back up on me, man. It's been a blessing, man. It's been a blessing, man. So enjoy you being here, man. Lot here in the building. Shit, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it, man. Let's go. What's the definition of a real? Uh, loyalty is everything. Loyalty is everything. The definition of real niggas, loyalty is everything. That's, that's one thing that's hard to find, loyalty. The right. definition of a real nigga is loyalty, uh, from beginning to end. Uh, something that's hard to find. Find just like a real bitch hard to find, you hear me? Like a real woman hard to find, you get what I'm saying? Like digging through the trash nowadays. You keep digging in the trash, you know, you might find something at the bottom. Right. You know, your trash, my treasure. But uh, loyalty uh, is everything. A real nigga, uh, when I went to Ferguson Unit, tells him a crib right off the rib. You know, I'm going to jump right into it. No time for play, play. Stories, uh, man. We got yeah. stories, real man. Niggas. When I went to penitentiary, I thought all the real niggas was in the penitentiary. Right. Uh, that's why I thought the real niggas was there. Uh, but I found out uh, it was more bitch niggas in there than it was real niggas. When I went to Ferguson, uh, no disrespect, but niggas know what I'm going to say. is the realest shit that I ever see. It was a whole bunch of bitch niggas there. Handful of real niggas. Whole bunch of bitch niggas there in the penitentiary when I got there. In in my eyes. And right. a whole less handful of real niggas. Um, when I left there, it was a whole bunch of real niggas and a handful of bitch niggas. Right. When I got there, it was a whole bunch of bitch niggas and a handful of real niggas. So I realized this is a place where I thought all the real niggas was at. Uh, this is a place where I thought well, these niggas coming here and these niggas was on shit. When I found out these niggas wasn't what when I walked in the penitentiary, uh, I expected, the first day there, I expected to get checked off the rip. Um, the place that I went, uh, the stories, the horrifying stories that I heard about this penitentiary, uh, ever since I was since 84 and 83 and 81, my big brother was on there, was on Ferguson in 83 and 84, he did time on Ferguson Unit. Got caught up in a ride, a ride, a stabbing, so he always tell me stories about Ferguson Unit, and he made it sound like a horrible-ass place to be. Shit, a place I never in the world wanted to go. Shit, well, I never... When he went to prison here, I was still in school. I was still trying to get out of high school. Well, I had a lot going on. But um, prison was the last thing on my mind. That shit. That was just him fucking up. I was I wasn't thinking about no shit like that. Never knowing uh down the years I end up in this place. Right. That he called a hell hole. And by the time I made it there, it was had already switched into an STG unit, which made a security threat grip unit. So this motherfucker was nothing but for gladiators, the bottom of the bro, we call that bitch Gilligan's Island. Uh, why we call it that? Because when you're on that bitch, there ain't no way off that hole. Ain't nobody going to come rescue you. Ain't nobody going to come save you. Uh, you can write your mama, the governor, the, the president of the United Motherfucking State. But once you land on Ferguson, oh, shit, there ain't no way off that hole. You can get off that bitch two ways in that airplane and in the body bag. They zipping your ass up. That's how you get off. Or you can come in that bitch and have your motherfucking face or your neck cut off. Then they say, well, he's in trouble. All right. But you just can't, well, hey, my, my life is in danger. But anyway, um, when I ended up on Ferguson, when I found out Ferguson wasn't when, when what they thought it was, didn't nobody check me when I got there. Uh, I said to myself, when I walked in the door and I went up there and I threw my bags in my cell, he said, y'all go in your cell, you know, get to know the place and you know, figure it out. So I went up there and I threw my shit on the bunk. I let the doors roll and I went right back down to the day room. I said, I think I'm going to get mine out the way. And you walk in, square business. The way you walk in is the way you leave that. Right. No, I walked in, square business, uh, not on no tough man shit. I just want niggas to know I'm her, and this is how I get out. You understand me? Why? Because if you don't prove yourself off the rip, uh, niggas have to figure you out. I don't want nobody to figure me out. Right. I don't want no niggas around me trying to sniff around me. Let's see what this nigga about, man. Go talk to the nigga. So, nah, I've been walking this bitch right now, and I went back downstairs. I met a nigga named Reggie, six old Reggie out of, um, out of Dallas, Texas. I seen he's the first nigga I ran up on. He was big nigga. I'm looking. I said, that nigga, that her big. So since I thought he was a big nigga, I said, uh, I said, look at him. I said, what? I said, what the crib niggas at? That nigga said, what's up? He said, I'm a crib six. Oh, yeah, the dude said the crib. I said, oh yeah. I said, where that check at then, nigga? Where that check at? The nigga looked at me like, what's up? I said, where that check at, nigga? So I said, he said, oh, oh no, nah, man, chill out. We don't do that shit over here. What you mean y'all don't do that over here, nigga? I mean, when y'all said, I came all of this way, to, I didn't made it to the big leagues. 
They got to work hard to get here. You know what I mean? The penitentiary, the institutions I've been in to get to this motherfucker, nigga. Yeah. I done made it to the big leagues now. Uh, I got to come here acting like I, I deserve just like a player on the field. You're in the uh, pros. One, yeah, the pros I, done, I, I, I went through the juvenile. I, I ain't never been to juvenile. I done been through enough bullshit in the streets to make it to where I went. To make it to a place where a nigga told me you never wanted to be, person. You here now. Where you at? You on Ferguson. Ain't this a bitch? Well, you here, person. Damn. He hit up chest there. Yeah. He hit up chest there and run that way on. Uh. When you say real niggas, when I walked in there and I didn't see no realness in these niggas' eyes, I said, there's a bunch of bitch niggas in there. Right. Uh. These niggas ain't real niggas. These niggas ain't lawyer niggas. These snake niggas. These snake in the grass niggas. You know what I'm saying, big homie? They not what, it's, not what it, it's not what it's cut out to be. Um, when you say the definition of a real nigga, uh, a real nigga that'll help you. Um, real nigga is a nigga when you do get pulled over in a car and the dope and shit get found in the motherfucking car and they laws asking who dope is this and nobody want to claim it and another one want to claim it and, and nobody say nothing, that's a bitch nigga. Right. Uh, when the law say who dope is this, nigga say don't say nothing. He don't say nothing, that's a whole nigga. When the law, what's a real nigga? When nigga say, say cuz... Look at I ain't finna let nobody go. That, that's my shit. Right. That's my shit. Yeah, all this shit, that's mine. Y'all gonna go home. Then y'all know that. But the, a bitch nigga let everybody go to jail and tell you, keep it real, don't say nothing. A real nigga gonna say something. He say, we ain't gonna let nobody go to jail. go back home. That's my shit. Yeah, nigga. Then the nigga say, you snitching when you don't say nothing. But who snitching when you don't say nothing? You let everybody in the car go to jail, and you know it's your shit. But they keeping it real. But who keeping it real? The nigga that say, nah, it's mine. You right. You know what I'm saying? That's a real nigga. That's a real nigga. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. Man, what's the worst beat down you seen on Ferguson unit? Like the worst like, beat like, down like, 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 like they eat. jump on the nigga ass and you was like, God damn. The worst beat down on Ferguson was with the big homie Deuce, man. Uh big homie Deuce out of Fort Worth, Texas, fell out from there with a with a jacket on his back. That was me. The nigga that came in there to open up some cold cases in the streets and ended up hitting the he in a unit full of killers that knew the situation in the street. Matter of fact, he landed on the unit with two niggas that he had snitched on. <laughs> uh, that was in there, you know. Them cats had life sentences. You dig what I'm saying? Them cats had a lot of time behind his testimony, behind his turning in, behind cases that was closed. And he opened up. I mean, I'm talking about something that they got away with. And Cuz tried to get some time, reduced off his shit, and opened their cases. He ended up on the unit with them cats. What you think gonna happen to him? Damn. You hear me? The worst beat down when he tried to tell me, um, cuz I need to talk to you, cuz as y'all already know, my um, my chair in the penitentiary was a um, a five star general. Um, I won the highest ranking game members over there, nothing to brag on, but um, at the same time, I held the seat over there and doing what I do, and I and I was over the enforcing team. We enforce. Our job is to come strictly for violence. If you want, if you want about no violence, don't talk to me. I don't want to make no. I'm not there for no fucking um. Uh, white towels and Peach Street to talk. Y'all hoes go, the bitch nigga that ride the bitch. So you got niggas that ride the bitch, and you got some niggas that's in the game. Yeah. The niggas that ride the bitch, they always gonna call the shot because they don't never get in the game. They don't know what it feel like to be in there. Um, the, the niggas, when I went to a prison where old niggas didn't have no say, the young niggas ran it. Right. Even my age, I was already an old school nigga. I was like, God damn, how am I old school nigga? But I found out, I started looking around how the young niggas was doing the old school niggas. Shit, nigga, I better step my game up because them niggas gonna treat you the same way. And I didn't want to be treated like that. Uh. So um I was I was I was I was known as one of the old young niggas. <laughs> yeah, I was doing what old niggas got mad at me. They like, man, you sit your old ass down for me. Nah, they gonna do you like that, nigga. They ain't gonna do shit to me, nigga. Yeah, I just sit there and ride the bitch. Cause when them young niggas ready to get y'all off the bitch, they can get them old niggas off the bitch. Right. Them old niggas ain't ready to play like them young niggas playing the disrespect over there. <laughs> Hey, bro, no, I tell them old niggas, I tell them old niggas, man, y'all better stay y'all ass at the presentation with them niggas. What? You see how many young niggas get in trouble? You know what I'm talking about? Them just the ones we hear about. Think about the ones we don't hear about. Man, that motherfucker, hey, man, they didn't hit a lick. Uh, you know, doing the crack cocaine epidemic, they hit a lick on society, on our race. You get what I'm saying? Uh, that shit played out. The drug thing played out, but they found out we can get the younger ones because the other one, we done fucked over that generation. Now what we going to do with the new one? We can pause them through the internet. And boy, good thing. They got them talking. They, they, they hit a drug so cold that uh, they don't even need to put drugs on the street no more. The drug is in your hand right there. 
Yeah. You got the best drug in the world in yeah. your hand, right there. Yeah. That right there says the most addictive thing in the world right now. It is. Niggas can't go without it. Gotta have it. Better have it. I know niggas that ain't even on drugs. Gotta have it. That's the baddest drug in your hand right there. That motherfucker is, is the most mind arthritis chemical there is. You hear me? Hello! Right. She talk to me. But see, uh, people don't look at it like that. They looking for something to put in your weed, something you smoke, something yeah. you shoot, something you run. They looking for the bullshit, the basic shit. Real talk. <laughs> now, that's that what gets you the basic shit. And they make it easier for you to get. But uh, at the same time, uh, that's how I feel on that, nigga. Right. Yes, sir. Man, there's a lot of shit going on the last time we talked. Okay. You know, uh, <laughs> With this, with it, with, with all this, a lot of snitching type of shit been going on. Boy, speculate a whole, a whole lot, man. Uh-huh. Like, what's what, what, what's a what's uh, a uh, snitch? Let's break down what a snitch I, I, really I wanna, is. I might don't really uh, a nigga that tells something that don't, you know, a snitch is a nigga that tells something that you don't know telling. Okay. A nigga that's telling something, he just gonna tell it. You know, that nigga tall on you, cuz. Uh, a snitch gonna tell behind your back. A nigga tell it on you gonna tell it in your face. Yeah, it was him right, right here, right here. A snitch gonna be wait, wait till they leave, wait till they leave. Right. Say it was cool. <laughs> right there. I don't even talk about Charles. I know who I talk about. Right here on Nitty TV. I know who this is. <laughs> I know who this is. I'm shouting out to this nigga right here today. This nigga right here. Yeah, you nigga. Don't start looking at me. Get, get the camera. Start looking at me. I know I bring him out every now and then. I really don't even bring this my first time in break. You fucked up, baby. <laughs> Come on, eyeball, don't start. Look at the camera, man. The camera. Look at the camera. God dang, he fucked up. I got him in public. Now you don't bring him. He, he, look at him, he a little shy. You ain't even wink today. <laughs> you ain't even wink at y'all today. My bad. But anyway, uh, the reason I brought eyeball out, because I like to congratulate about I like to give eyeball a Nobel Peace Prize right here on Nitty Show because, um, he started some movement that I thought would never, ever, ever. <laughs> don't start, Nitty. Please don't start. You know what? I, I talk to you later. We'll talk to our about later. Hold on. Uh, let me talk to Nitty now. Cause Nitty, I see he ain't gonna let me get it out. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he ain't gonna let me. Shit, Let's man. give a shout out to Ibo. He started uh, a movement that I thought would never catch fire. He man. started a movement I thought to get everybody. He started a suicide movement. I thought. As a human, as a real nigga, you know, I'm glad Needy brought up a couple of topics. He brought up what's a real nigga a while ago, and you know, uh, man. but he started a movie that I thought would never ever get this shit caught on like Wi Fi. And I but, thought, and I thought American Gangster was something. You understand me? Okay, I'm gonna let y'all soak in that for a minute. Yeah, just sit right there and soak. Okay. But what I'm saying, he started a movement I thought would never ever. He he deserved a Nobel Peace Prize for the movement he started because um. You know, um, we got to call him a god. What is a god? A god is something that creates something. That's what a god, god is a creator of things. And he created something that I thought would never, ever in my fuck, that I would live to see. I'm glad that, <laughs> man, I'm going to tell y'all, man, God has allowed me to live to see a lot of things. I live to see 25 twice. I live to see game banging go and come back around. Hell, I've seen afros go and come back around. I seen a lot of shit, but this what this didn't. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know. Y'all know where I got that from. Well, look, well, look. Turns gangster. Well, let me let me tell you what he did though. Uh, all right. don't, don't stop me there. I gotta uh, uh, I gotta get a man this, his, his car ready. I gotta tilt my head to the man. Do shit. <laughs> the man created snitching mm-hmm. in public. And yeah. Niggas, I mean, you know. When you heard of a snitch, a nigga had to be snitching to tell you that. Yeah, snitching. <laughs> nigga, how you know? Shit. It's hard to find out who a snitch is. Unless you're in a buddy buddy <laughs> system with the snitches. It's hard. But watch this. But Charleston was a nigga that pull up to the, I'm right here right now at the Turn County Fort Worth Police Department. Right here, and I'm telling on. OG Percy, um, Calvin, and Jack on Little John Street for selling with you nigga will not sell no weed today. <laughs> Everybody seen that video, remember? I just had to act it mm-hmm. out. 
You nigga will not be selling no weed on Little John today until that nigga apologize. No weed right here. I'm filing a report. The nigga made a threat against me. I'm calling the police on right now. That was just one video. Y'all remember another video? I'm on the south side right now. I've been threatened by them Hoover niggas, them Crip niggas on Harvard Street. They, right around, right around. Look, I'm in Turk County, Fort Worth, Police. I'm waiting for them to come. I'm finna file my finna file charge. And that nigga was talking legal shit to niggas. The nigga was like, that nigga ain't playing. That nigga ain't just talking about telling something. He's talking about paperwork shit, too. Right. You know, shit, you niggas just wait for somebody to go tell something to file a report now. Nah. That nigga tell you how the report gonna go and what's gonna happen after the report. When he put it on you, nigga looking like this nigga ain't playing. But see, uh, he did it in public. So niggas like shit. <laughs> I don't know, it ain't looking too good, young thug. Shit, you know. Right. Snitching on the all time high right now. Uh shit, uh, if y'all thinking all everybody's getting caught up, ain't nobody gonna tell it no more. Shit. If Charles can get away with my bad. Eyeball can get away with it. She, like he doing and still walking around. Like, hey, if, if American gangster can get away with it, he back home too right now. She, you know, I don't think no. My thing is this, y'all. If you don't want to tell nothing, don't get yourself in nothing. Right. You niggas don't want to end up on that stand with your hand up like this, pointing at the nigga saying, there you go right there. If he in the courtroom with you right now. Yes, he is. Get you, you got to. You have to. Turn into that snake right there on the stand. Magic. I told y'all I ain't never seen magic in my life. I don't believe in real magic till I seen a dog turn into a snake. And then he did to me, say, say, I say, God damn. Magic. But hey, eyeball has made it. Hey man, uh, it's at all time yeah. high right now, eyeball. I gotta congratulate yeah. Charleston. Yeah, it's uh, at he all has time. made snitching uh snitching a, like a normal uh, right uh, now. Not snitching. He have changed the definition from snitching to telling it on niggas. Niggas is telling it now. Yeah. We seen the nigga in, in the courtroom. Is such and such a gang? Yes, they is. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. That nigga, he ain't wait. He, the, the bitch, she wouldn't even finish the sentence yet. Yes, yes. Yeah. God damn. Ain't nothing gonna happen. He's just gonna get some publicity on the internet. Niggas gonna talk about him, blow his name up. He gonna make a couple million off your views. Just niggas just talking about it. Hey, look. Uh, talk to me. Talk to that, me, nigga. Okay, the, the little guy, little Migo. Okay. Uh, you heard about that one? What happened to him? One got slapped. Got his jury took from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Walking around like he took. So Charleston told him to call 911 on the people that took his jury. Don't throw your life away trying to retaliate because you're still going to get some pussy if you <laughs> snitch. You hear me? <laughs> Say, uh, look, man, uh. <laughs> Say man, listen, niggas getting that jury took, niggas getting um niggas getting their life took. Right. That niggas ain't talking about. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that jury, they gonna get that back overnight. Fuck the charges. It's niggas out here that they ain't telling about niggas getting found on the side of the road. Shout out to my young niggas on the south side, Fort Worth, Texas, man. They just found four young niggas dead in the car around there. Nobody said shit. Don't think you niggas talking about these niggas on these motherfucking big homes. Not no disrespect to me to nobody, but this internet, that's all he talking about is Charleston and, and, and Migos and, and this nigga in court and YSL and Juvenile and Terrence Gangster Williams and such, such, such. They ain't talking about the kids that's losing their life every motherfucking week in Fort Worth. Right. Yeah, we dealing with this. All right, Peter Little Chris, man. All right, Peter Young Fred, man. R.P. them four kids that found that car. Them niggas didn't know what they was doing. Ain't nobody said them young, them one of them young kids over 19 years old. Shot up in that car, couldn't even identify their faces because these young niggas got guns out here where well, you can't even see what they look like out there, niggas use them on you. One bullet will do that to you. Imagine when they hit you with a whole round in less than 30 seconds. In less, less than five seconds. Hey. Yeah, they got shit like that. They got shit you shoot at them motherfuckers like the bullets flying out that way. Nigga, I'm running. What the fuck is shooting? My thing is, where the fuck did these young niggas get that shit from? Now I got a little pocket rocket. <laughs> I don't need nothing big. Little pocket rocket. That's just to scare you off. Bah! Move! I got a warning shot and I got a scared shot. That's all I got. Warning, bah! Move! Now, then, come on, leave me alone. Now, I might have to use the last, but I gotta save it just in case. They might be still in there. But, um, they got shots. These niggas shooting with no warnings out here. My brother was sitting in the car smoking a cigarette. Some young niggas walked up and did him dirty. 
man to go to work every day, take care of his family, his kids, waiting to see his daughter graduate, walk the stage, couldn't even walk the stage because of what they did to him. He was sitting in the car smoking a cigarette, listening to his music. The music was still playing when I pulled up on the fucking scene. Damn. See my yeah, yeah. See my brother with his head and he motherfucking laughed. Niggas walked up, shot my brother outside his motherfucking head. Out just like that for what? Took his jewelry off his neck. For what? <clears throat> Nigga was out celebrating his birthday. It was his birthday. He asked me to go with him. I told him I ain't going. I don't go to saloons. You know, um, I don't I don't want me to bring my big brother up and but I like for people to rest easy. And to know that I'm at ease, I I I I act a fool a couple a month. I went hard for a month until the detectives, you know what I'm saying, they knocked on the door and I said, Yeah, what, what y'all to find out about my brother? But they told me we ain't heard about your brother today. You ain't heard about my brother today. What you 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 mean what it? And the lady told me one thing that needs to stop. And I told her, okay, cool. Don't say nothing else about it. It will stop. You dig what I'm saying? If it's safe to tell something. Or to keep something away, you hear me? Uh, but the shit that's happening, man, some, you know, hell, I, I think I'm finna jump on the um, See Some Say Some program. <laughs> shit. Might start a campaign in the hood. Um, why do I say that? Because um, niggas don't say nothing to shit happen to them. Right. Niggas don't say nothing to your brother out there dead for real now, person. Uh, now you want everybody to find a killer, person. Um, but did you help something to find a killer when you knew him person? See, God showed me a thing in my mind. What goes around comes around. You didn't say nothing. You didn't pick up the phone and say, man, I seen who did this to such and such. But now you want somebody to do that for you and your family. But you got to think about what you do. What goes around comes around. Sometimes you got to see things in a whole different way. Uh, had I the way with my brother that night, have been two dead niggas in the car, not one. Uh, the way they, the way these kids out here playing. Uh. So yeah, Nick, you know, I'm on a whole different program than these other cats, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. Now, uh, like I say, <coughs> with the snitching shit, man, you got okay. You got Ti. <laughs> you know, yeah. everybody give it. Uh, you know, I know you and Gangsta had y'all back and forth, but uh-huh. you know. I, I can't get on that one. I fuck with gang. That's my that's my man. I, I fuck with the giggity man. Shout out to giggity man. Yeah, I my, fuck with giggity. Don't play man. I dog. fuck with giggity man. That's the baby but, man. But they, that's the baby. You know, I just play. Let me let everybody know. Uh, it was never nothing personal with me and giggity. I just wanted to play a, a friendly game with chess. You know, I like playing niggas that like to know how to play. Not niggas that just know how to play. Yeah. Then I won't play no anybody. Right. Giggity not anybody. Play. That's a good nigga to play. Thanks for playing me. Yeah. He didn't have to play me. Yeah. Shit, he could just man ain't there ain't shit to talk about. But, when but, somebody but, thank you, somebody they talk to you, I feel more respect when he says something back. Shout out to Terrence Gangster Williams. You know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's my yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Gangster, that's yeah, my man. dog, man. Nah, for but, real. What I'm saying, they, they, they give my dog Gangster a lot of flack for his situation. You okay. Know, he did, but he. You Can know, I give I him mean, some flack? Do, do, you, do your shit. I feel what I feel about Gangster. Yeah. It's real talk. I feel like Gangster wants to get a Nobel Peace Prize. Right. I'm passing them out today. Uh, not because y'all girl. Uh, yeah. something. I just said, why is that? Only people that are gods that create something. Did I say this? Stick to the game at hand. Right. Uh, this man did. Take my head out. Let me see the grades, the wisdom, and the knowledge on what I'm going to say. Right. This man did something that ain't now, nigga, to put a tank. These niggas been doing, trying to do for years. Yeah. Decades. Centuries. You know how I many niggas done died behind them boys? Yeah. Trying to do what Terrence did today. You get where Terrence said right now today. You know how many niggas have died trying to get there? Right. Look, girl, look at what my math must say. Millions. You know how many niggas try to get appeals? Millions. Right. You know how many niggas try to find a loophole in the game in the affidavits or something to try to get out? Millions. You know right. what? You know what this man? Actually, uh, he could have been another Tookie Williams. That's I think I think that's how hard Terrence had to put his mind into doing what he's doing to be where he's sitting today. Right. Uh, Tookie Williams, uh, another great legend. Shout out to Tookie Williams. R.I.P. to the big crib guard, the general. You understand me? R.I.P. to uh, Raymond Washington, California's greatest. Nigga that started the crib. But Terrence Gangster Williams, Tookie Williams turned himself into a, a fucking office like I did this room. I learned that shit off 
Meet reading books from them niggas. He turned where he was at. A bad situation. Little folks said, Chris, we gonna have to live in the garage, bro. Shit, that's on. I've been living like a dog on the street, so I might well move in the garage. You understand me? But when I get here, you make a house into a home. You know what I'm saying? You don't live like you in a garage, nigga. You right. know what I'm saying? Put some carpet on the floor or something, nigga. Put a TV in this motherfucker or something. Right. You no, know, put some weights in this hole. But anyway, turn turn his cell into an office also. Only thing about Tiki Williams, he ended up getting executed during his. He didn't. I just told y'all. Even after Wendy Mandela went to go visit him. Even after Jamie Foxx made a movie of him called Black Wave Blue with Gypsy. Even after Winnie Mandela just go down and sit in there, the, 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 the queen of Africa, going to visit a man in a prison that you know that changed his life and trying to get some more life out on the street. Because one thing, they knew if they would have let Tiki Williams free, um, niggas would have got the message. Right. One thing about the folks, they're going to kill the message before the niggas get it. If it can help the blacks. We can't let Martin Luther King live. Y'all crazy. That nigga too goddamn now. Get his ass up out of here. Hell no, we can't let Malcolm X live. Get now, we can't let Huey P. Newton live. Get them out of here. Get rid of all them. We can't get them, no. Them niggas too smart for their own good. Get them out of here. Who next? Tiki Williams? He had created this, you know, you know, after we knocked these Black Panthers out, what's going to be next? The Crips. Right. Now y'all got a nation of black men that don't care about what y'all come at them with. Now y'all got a nation that they're going to shoot you. You know, you know, it was five, you know. Y'all know how it started out. I wasn't even... Banging back then in 1969. I was just born. <laughs> November 20th, 1969, the year Crippen started. But I'm saying that to say this turns Gangster William turns his cell into an office man and he put his mind to doing what he was doing. He got himself out of prison. Not prison, my bad. My bad, Terrence. And he got himself out the feds. Yeah. Nigga, boy, fuck some prison. That's the easy work. A couple of um. No, Alfred Davis, a couple of them, writers down there, you can probably find your loophole in the game in prison. That's every now and then. But the feds, there's no way yeah. in hell. <laughs> Nigga, you better, I got to say this. You're going to have to go to the grave to get out that motherfucker. Yeah. And that nigga went to the grave and got out that motherfucker. Hello. <laughs> Let y'all soak in there for a minute. Yeah. He went to the grave and he got somebody out there. He got, he got himself out. Uh, that's a guard. Yeah. But ain't gonna be too many gonna follow them for still turns out change. They trying now. I mean, what did he do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say. Now, um, I don't know. Um it's gonna be kind of um I have to you know, I'll put you on the spot right quick, Nitty. Please, if you don't let's, mind. Let's if get I ask it. you a question. Let's get it. Now I'm gonna need an answer within five seconds. Let's get it. So who you think? In the lead, turns off Charleston. One, two, three, four. Charleston. And Charleston. Y'all heard. Charleston. Okay. Okay, I know. It. Thank you very much. I, I just had to do that. No. I didn't even want I was waiting. I started sweating waiting on answers. God damn, I knew it. I, I didn't even want to answer it. I knew it. I know it. That's what we do over here. That's what you get when you talk to person. You understand me? Um. But hell, you know, I, I just had to take that money out of my back before it jumped on there. You hear me? Uh, that's a um. I know it. But anyway, um, Giggity, you the truth. You the truth, Giggity. You got, you, you put a, a bad, that was a, I don't know, man. Giggity, you got a bad, but then you got out the feds. You ought to be the luckiest man in the room right now. Shit. Feds? Because. It ain't how it ain't that you. I, I, I'm gonna tell turns. I told him I'm not mad how you got that nigga. You you hit a lick. You know how many niggas waiting to hit a lick like that? And believe me, turns believe me. These niggas talking about turns against the wheel. Say man, I hate to see the graveyards right now. There's holes everywhere. Niggas is digging like a motherfucker right now. <laughs> they trying to find some niggas. They trying to. Get, you think if that blueprint ain't gonna try to catch on? You know what they got now? The legislation, the turns against the wheel legislation. You can use the turn against the wheel. You know, you pull, you pull the book out, it's going to have turns against the wheel. You can't turn against the wheel. How you, got, you know, they got shit. They got to keep records of shit like this. They got to keep blueprints of how this man did and what he did. Proper protocol, fellas. <laughs> what did this man to do? They got it. <laughs> but you niggas ain't getting that blueprint <laughs> no time soon. 
It's just like that album that I used to see back in the day when he said, huh? Brother, uh, <laughs> go listen to this album. You reach for it. He said, "Oh no, my brother, <laughs> you got to get your own." <laughs> That's what they doing with turn shit right now. His album, you understand? Know Niggas was reaching for that album. He just like that white man with that string. Said, "Oh, <laughs> y'all be a little quicker than that. They not letting y'all get that shit. That's going down in, in history with um, Doctor Sibley um, records." Hello. That went on a lot of y'all here at that time, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's going down with Dr. Sibley records. Y'all won't get them blueprints. Ter- Terrence have created, and Terrence, if you, if you do it right, you know, which I hope you is, because I see you um, progressing right now. That's what you're doing. I see a lot of good people talking to you. Uh, started out a little rocky, but I understand. That's when, as just saying, I'm happy to be free. <laughs> Shit. You know, it, when niggas say, but you're doing the right thing, you ain't there popping bottles and popping guns in niggas' face. You know? You know how these niggas doing out here. You see now, don't you? Yeah, you and I know shit. If, if you can talk your way out there, bitch, I know you ain't finna talk your way back in there. Boy. Say. <laughs> 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 All right. Nah, uh, hey, I gotta use that again somewhere. <laughs> that nigga said you can talk that nigga talk his way out. Let's but go. I'm saying since we on that, I mean TI. Did the same shit, but he yeah. ain't getting. He, he it's, it's like he not getting the uh, flack that, that. Listen, that, that, man, you're not that gonna get that getting. flack when you work for the system already. Everybody already know what Ti was doing. See, uh, only the people that smart can see through the bullshit. It take right. it take a nigga with a good eye to see dry land through muddy water. Uh, let me help y'all with a little dry land through muddy water story with Ti real quick. Uh. Long time ago, T.I. Bodyguard was killed in a bus drive. You know, when they pulled over, they found him a lot of guns and drugs on the bus, and they vacated the bus, but he lost his partner, his, his, one of his little bodyguards, which was a kinfolk to him. Understand me? Um, they, had, they had pictures of all the guns they confiscated off the bus and everything. And let me tell y'all something. When you in federal trouble like that, that shit don't go nowhere. <laughs> you got me? Nigga, you think of a pistol case don't go nowhere, what the fuck you think them going? Oh, you just going to? Now, y'all not the white boys that had the gang fight a long time ago. We seen the motorcycle gang fight on this dude, and then we ain't never heard nothing from him no more. Yeah, it don't disappear like that. <laughs> y'all got us fucked up. Them white boys, they shit just disappeared. Everybody seen that. But ain't nobody seen what happened at the end of it. No. Man, that's what you call sweeping shit out of the world, shedding up, because they know how to shut up. You know why it didn't happen to one of them white boys? Because ain't nobody say shit. Right. Hello! Yeah, I seen that shit. I I <laughs> Everybody remember that? They yeah. seen it. They showed it to the world. They, you don't even see the footage of that no more. Nobody brings that up no more. Hello. But T.I., your shit ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you a lying ass to me. But what would you do? I, I, I got to tell a story about Mr. It. Yeah? I won't talk about T.I. We'll just change the letters around. We'll call it Mr. It. Hello. <laughs> well, y'all keep up with the story on Nitty yeah. TV. I know a dude named Mr. It. And it was just like the game when you play it. When niggas yell, say, nigga, not it. Nah, but you it. Well, the day Mr. It was it. One day Mr. It got lit, hit the bus, and said, let's go kick it. They went to the club, kick it, got into some shit, and Mr. It got into some shit. So Mr. It and them got put out the club, told him, get the fuck out this bitch. So Mr. It and them had to go skit. <laughs> they jumped on the bus, some niggas got wrapped right behind them and slid on them. By the time they got on the bus, they his partner and his bands was gone, homie. And Mr. It said, God damn, we in some shit. <laughs> yeah, because now it, you are it. They came and got Mr. It, took Mr. It down, said, Mr. It, you know what, you, you know, we checked your records and shit. Come to find out, Mr. It, you could probably be legit for the new program we got fit. <laughs> and what is that, Mr. It said? He said, we'll make you legit. We'll throw away your case, bury your cousin, and, you know, we'll just call you Mr. It. How you going to do that? We'll take your family and we'll investigate y'all. Throw y'all on a reality show. Let the world watch your shit. What we'll call that, we'll call that Mr. It <laughs> and the tiny bitch. <laughs> you understand me? You know, the little one. I'm talking about the little one, not the, you know, come on, y'all, don't do that. You know, the little tiny bitch. We just called her. You know, that's Mr. It shit. But Mr. It started fucking with the Mr. Tiny bitch, and we say, you know what? Y'all ain't getting away with shit. You got caught with this gun, that gun, that gun, and we'll give us some community service shit. 
Yeah, Miss Dean said, what's community service shit? We are programming, watch you niggas every day. You just work <laughs> in a reality show and shit. So you don't even get to go take a shit by yourself, Miss Dean. <laughs> what you mean? We're going to be all up in your shit. <laughs> <laughs> no goddamn me. You don't got to wear the monocles, ankles, don't worry. We're going to be all up in your shit. <laughs> What you mean? You mean you gonna monitor me from the house phone? Nah. We're gonna be all up in your shit. When you go to the bathroom and shit, we're gonna be have a camera. We got a camera and we got you. It's a reality show. We just gonna call that community service. Hello! Yeah, right. you put in a couple of hours, a couple of years community service. We won't rest, you won't send you to jail. You only have to do your shit in the cell. You can just sit here and do your shit right here. We just monitor you from here. Just they say that sounds like a good idea and shit. So we call it, we just call it Mr. It family and shit. Okay, well they did that. I'm saying that to say this, um, now when Mr. It come up, you know, legit, he said that's community <coughs> he said that's community service shit. Now Mr. It is back in the community service shit. He let this nigga with a bad eyeball put him in some bullshit. <laughs> He was eyeballing this shit. See, that nigga said, give me the work, and the nigga gave him the work, and he served his little family and fucked off the game, but he put eyeball in the game. Now, Mr. Eden Eyeball looking like a damn shame. But let me tell y'all the moral of that story. It ain't green eggs and ham. Mr. It and Eyeball is real. Tell him, man. Yeah. I taste them myself. Them niggas the truth. Them niggas out of there. But say, y'all check this down. That's how I feel about T.I. T.I. got put on the reality show, man. I'm there to say this nigga, uh. More or less story, he been working for the system. Y'all soaking that for a minute. Uh, you know, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, it ain't no, uh, I told you, yeah, if y'all have caught on, so that mean them stories, y'all getting them late. Uh, he been to told it on him. He said his cousin, he talked to his dead cousin, his cousin told him to tell it. If he can get out, you know, that mean tell you niggas anything. Yeah, that shit go way back to the damn uh, say, the, crime stop, with the, the crime stopper commercial. Yeah, you, come on, <laughs> stop you, it. You just don't make no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can look through this. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just said we can see dry land through muddy water, can yeah. we? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, man. Now, uh, they got a they got a law passed in Illinois. Okay. Uh, called the Safety Act. Okay. Uh. You don't have to buy. There's no bond to get out of jail no more, unless it's like murder, like first degree. You could get out. There's no bond for second degree. No bond for robbery, for kidnapping, mm -hmm. burglary. Okay. You don't have to bond out. Okay, just let them back in the street. Yeah, you could get arrested. Let, let, let your back out till you court date. What you think about that situation? They just trying to. They just trying to. They just trying to. Um. Um. Make sure they keep up with the motherfucking, the head count in the hood. You know, um, it's an extermination in the hood. We can't keep locking all the killers up because we ain't going to get no killing done. Damn. I'm, I'm just saying, though. Yeah. Nah, oh, that's, 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 yeah, uh, Give them a gun. Make them legalize right. down here. Down here, they didn't you know, y'all. They got it good. Down here, they legalize guns. Everybody say, all right, we get the packing for it. We get the packing public, you know, legalize your weapon. You can walk around with your firearm for safety. Well, now, nah, niggas, just to let y'all know, they just made it easy to kill one of you niggas. I'm sorry to see it like that, my yeah. bad brothers. Because we've not already seen niggas die with, hook, with, with, with bottles in their hands. We've not already seen niggas die with a, um, a cell phone in his hand. We've not already seen niggas die with I thought he had this. we did not already seen niggas die with niggas just yell, GUN! Boom, 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 boom. That was the seatbelt shine. Hello! Let's make it legalized. So what you think they gonna do now? That they can legalize the gun. Let's just put it on them anyway. Fuck them. Let's yeah. Now we keep making these mistakes. Let's just put it on them. We know they are open carry. But I want to tell you, black folks, something. Do your thing for one minute. The law gonna ask you to see your gun registration license. Or you just gonna say gun? Or you just gonna see the gun? You know, make you know what you're saying. Let's make it easy for them. Yeah. Let's make it easy. Put the gun in the hand. All they need to do is see it. Shit, they been yelling gun over bottles, cans, and bricks, and seat belts for years. Just imagine what you're going to do when they see a real gun. Facts. Oh, they, oh, we ain't got to see you pull it. They're going to take that out and put it and say you, you did it anyway. Because you had it on you. Easy work. Uh, to say that about your question that you just said, uh, Nitty, um, in Chicago, it's just easy work. Put them back out there. 
grind and slow down a little bit. You know, we got a quarter to keep up with. You got to keep the hood, you know, the, you know, the, you know. Man, y'all got Jeremy team locked up. No, Jeremy, them murder, they murdered off half the murder. You no, know, South, let them back out. Fuck. That's cra- That's crazy, though, bro. No, man. You know, let them no back vibe. out. You know, we need to keep up. You know, why, why let you know shit? And then you'll be saying back in there, they used to lock you up for that. But they don't know more. You can go to jail for that. <laughs> well, you can't no more. Uh, what they say, making crime a little easier down there in Chicago. That's what I see. Because yeah. they, they, Chicago is the place where they need to be trying to tighten the boats, not loosen them. Hello. She, Chicago is the place where they need to be trying to save more lives. Than, you know. Uh, I just had a girl, you know, she just moved to Chicago. I used to call her Chicago, and I used to be scared for her safety down there. Uh, because there's no rules and uh, the, uh Respect down there is gone. When it comes down to, you know, who, who who can get it. Right. You can get it if you just post on another nigga post. The fuck? I just like the post and ended up dead. That's how easy it is because you are ops now because you put a like on another nigga post on the smoke and they, they know where you stay at. Now, who liking that shit? You on the ops list. Yeah. That's that how shit, easy it is. That shit deep, bro. I know. I know. People don't talk about shit like that. You know, they too busy worried about... You know, eyeball nil. <laughs> and his life and his life's being lost out here in these streets, man. There ain't nobody putting no eyeballs on. <laughs> Hello. Ain't nobody all right. Uh, okay, uh El Chapo's son was arrested. You know, it caused a lot of intense violence in the streets, you know, with the cartel. You know, they went and confront the military trying to get him out and shit. We, we, What's your thoughts on that? Hey, my take on that, uh, that, that's a man with a lot of power, a lot of money, and a lot of respect. Uh, son came out back in the days, power, money, power, respect by the locks, you understand me? But uh, yeah. that's a man that got a lot of that where he's at. Uh, any man that can build a railroad under a penitentiary man is a bad man. Yeah. Any man that got that type of money, she, you know, I seen niggas try to break out of prison and, and spend lots of money trying to break out of these prisons, you know. With they little old, um, fucked up blueprints, trying to escape from Alcatraz. It's hard, but for you to take a a motherfucker that can build a tunnel, a hoax, who got drill bits like that? Who got drills that can? Come on, man, stop playing. That's a man with money, power, and respect. Um, El Chapo is the truth. Um, for, but for you to make um threats like that towards the military, that means you got power somewhere else too. Uh, now your son is locked up. You know, you know they say you know, like father, like son. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. But we know one thing about the sons these days. Everybody's real on. Uh, uh, shout out to um Kim Young. When Kim Young was passed down the throne, you know everybody thought he would crash out. You understand? Me? He he looked like a crash out, done it. Because most of these sons that's getting the um the heirs to the keys to the throne these days, they not holding them like they supposed to. El Chapo, he should have learned off his daddy. You don't want to be locked up. You can't do nothing locked up. Right. You can't do nothing locked up. You've been down there seeing how your daddy went through it. I don't want to go through that. But um, you would think that somebody would catch on. Shit. I, but you know, hell, I, I can't brag. I like to make I statements. Before I talk about somebody else, I will talk about mine. Uh, you know, I got sons, you know, I, I gotta say the same thing. You know, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I got, you know, sons doing time. Um, but I thought they would make, you know, <laughs> some different choices. You understand me? But I see they didn't. I see they didn't. But yeah, El Chapo's son, he locked up. Um, I guess that's where he want to be. I guess you got more power behind bars. I don't know. Right. Check this out. Talk to me. Okay. If you could, if if you if you <laughs> could have all the money in the world. All the power in the world. What would it be? If I could do what? Have all the money in the yeah, world? Yeah, you got the app. You snap your finger, you get you all the money in the world. Or all the power in the world. You take the power or the money? I take the money. Ask me why, though. Why? Because I can get the power out of it. Right. But that's me what I would do with the money if I had a lot of money, though. What you do with it? I invest in me some land. Most definitely, man. You know what I would do? Most definitely. 
You know what I do? If I had a lot of money, you want to know what my dream? Nobody asked me what I, what would you do if you had a lot of money, person. If you were just rich like everybody, what would you do with your money? I got plans to. If I was rich, what I would do with my money? Yeah. What is it? What's that? This what this what I would like to see if I had a lot of money. If anybody invested in me, just want to know. Anybody listening to Needy TV, which I know I got supporters all over the world now, all the way in the UK now. If you know, I know some of y'all may got a little money on me. Right. Hello. I tell. <laughs> but if anybody just wanted to know, invest in a little stock and bonds and Percy mine, this is what I would do with mine. I would invest in me a lot of land. Biggest land. This is my dream with a lot of mine. I buy me, I go and I look at me some land. And I invest in it. And I will build the biggest, nicest, most I mean, you can see it before you get the graveyard in the world. Wow. I would call it Heaven's Gate. Man. That's what I would call it. I would build me a graveyard because I know one thing about that business. Man. It would never run out. That's deep. Uh, when you see it, uh, the land will be so look like paradise. You can go to heaven before you get there at my graveyard. That's what I would do with a lot of money. I would buy Man. me a land. I would make that joke look so beautiful. And, you know, and I would have a section over there for people that couldn't even pay to get in. You know, you ain't got the insurance. You know, you can't afford, you know, you'll be buried back there with the dirt. <laughs> but you will be here. But if you, you know, you, you know, you fix, you know, whatever my people do to run this. But when you pull up in there and that joke open up, when you pull in, I want it to look like when your girl, you walk in, you drive in, I want people to see this thing. And it be, it look like you, you know, that's what I that, want the graveyard to look like. That's, that's my dream. You, you. You just fucked me up with that right there, what you just said. <laughs> Real talk. Nah, cause, cause I mean, that's how, you know. I, I like I like the way you think. Appreciate um, you. Average motherfucker wouldn't think about no shit like that. And um, the thing <laughs> is, we all got to go one day. Everybody right, right, on this right. motherfucker got to right. go. So that's an investment for forever. Keep that generation to the next generation to the next that's generation forever. of children. That, you know, uh, whoever that, you know, who got the graveyard next. You up next for the grave, you know, make sure it's running good, you know. Damn, you, you, fuck, know? you, you fuck me up with that one. I appreciate you. And if I can invest in stocks and bonds, I got one more thing I'll put my money in. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello. I mean, you need to stop wiping your ass, let me know. Hey, why, why we, uh-huh. man, why we on that, uh, not to get on no crazy right, shit. Right, right, go ahead, talk. Ain't nothing ever crazy I, when we I got talk. a nigga. I got a nigga. I fuck with. You talking about the toilet paper? Okay, uh, okay, okay. Talk. Is he you real OG nigga from the town? He probably go see this. Uh, mm-hmm. I was fucking with him another the couple of weeks ago, and uh, he was just standing by my truck. So right. I know, uh, you know, it's always right to shake a man's hand with your right hand. No doubt. So I was. Uh, he was standing right by my truck. I had shit in my right hand. I'm about to leave, and he dapped me off. My left hand was right there, so I was kind of trying to thump him with the right, right. left. I'm like, all right. So he was like, uh, give me your right. Give me your right hand, man. You know I'm Muslim. So I'm like, okay. So then he got to breaking it down. So he's like, man, uh, man, I'm going to tell you why we don't shake hands with the left hand or whatever. Okay. Muslims don't eat um, pork or eat crazy shit, and they eat right. And... When they do a bowel movement, they do it in their hand, in their left hand. I ain't never heard that shit before. Yeah, that's a secret for me. Don't kick me in front. See, you was like, that's why they don't use that's left a hand. So I'm like, what the? he caught me. I, was, I said, I said so what? He messed with I'm saying, nah. I'm... <laughs> All right, then, man. <laughs> See, I'm salute you, nigga, for now. I never knew the left hand shit, you, but you, you know, well, like, you just said the left hand shit. Yeah, you didn't get it. Did you? The left hand shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 I know it. They'll uh, catch on to it in a minute. That's why they don't do it with the left hand. Them niggas out of there. Say, but I'm saying, I, hey, I'm glad you schooled us on that. We need to know that. Yeah, that's a little underground secret to y'all. From need it, say, boy. Yeah, boy. Need a TV, hey, watch your right hand. Goddamn, that's crazy. Yeah, that, yeah but it's yeah. real, you know. We, yeah. we, it's a lot of tradition we know about, right? We don't know about. You know, we don't know what the Muslims will do. Shit. Uh, yeah, man. 
Uh, Y'all know what a Buddhist is? I heard of Buddhist, but I... It's a religion. You go to church, can I ask, can I get, can I get, can I get on, can we get on a different subject? If you want to, Nick? Yeah, go go ahead. You grew up in church? Let's go. I was looking at Nick's show and I see what your people like. They just like to hear real shit. So you see what's doing numbers, you keep, you watch, you study that video and see what made the numbers. Right. And it be the conversation. Right. Good one. I was, I was, I was talking to you. I was going to ask you about your religion, your church for. Okay. I don't like sitting around no demons and shit. Cause I know you niggas from Louisiana. Yeah. And I know down there, y'all, you know, y'all got a lot of spirits running around down there. Yeah. And he <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, y'all fucked me up on the Mardi Gras days, and then you what you see all the costumes and different. Right. Man, say, man, I sit there and I stir at that shit, and that's the most amazing thing to see that what people put on and what people is on the other side of the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just mainly what they into. Right. I be seeing, I check out all the characters. You know, besides the feathers and the long thing, I check out the niggas that have the, the regular shit, the half of faces on it. Yeah. You know, living their own world, and they been that way for years. Right. What you be when you go to the Mardi Gras? I'm just, it's just regular. That, that shit there is more um, in New Orleans. With all that crazy shit. Say, Louisiana like, is a state, right? Yeah, Louisiana is a state. All you niggas is in the same fish. Nah. No, it's okay, a, I ain't gonna do y'all like no, that. Look. Like they said, no, no, no real. So you said you got Africans over here, and niggas over here. No, nah, real talk. Look. It? Now I, go ahead, let's I, go. I, I lived, to. I lived in New Orleans for two years. Okay, and we from like two hours west of New Orleans. It's a whole different world. It's okay. a whole different culture from the three three seven area to the five zero four. Like it's a big difference. It's like. It's like, uh, let me see how I could break it down. The, the boys had an argument about that shit. On the, it was like, New Orleans is New Orleans. Okay. The rest of Louisiana is Louisiana. New Orleans is their own world. Like a lot of that voodoo shit and all that crazy shit is a New Orleans thing. They don't do all that shit um, back home. What they do in New Orleans. Yeah, they, yeah it's, 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 it's. So you telling me Louisiana is a state, right? It's a state. But you got New Orleans and Louisiana. You got New Orleans okay. and you got Louisiana. All right, all right. I, I dig what you're saying. I got some partners that I met in the penitentiary that was from New Orleans. Uh-huh. So one dude says, yo, man, we uptown. Yeah. He said, yo, son. You got a son. Look out, yo. He said, yeah, yeah. You don't talk like you from uh, New Orleans. I said, no, nah, son. I'm from uptown, son. What you talking about, <laughs> son? What you saying, son? Yeah. Huh? I like, damn. This nigga real crunk like a mother. Yeah, son. I said, <laughs> kept saying, why you keep saying, son? <laughs> then one nigga said, Look at Wood. Yeah. Look at Wood. Now where he from? Yeah, he from the other side, son. Yeah. I said, okay. Oh, now see that let you know I, I caught this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I caught I didn't been around both sides of the coaches. Yeah. And I knew why this cause this nigga don't act like this nigga. Yeah. And this nigga, but guess what? Both of them niggas was on some same shit. Yeah. Them niggas, them niggas was crazy. Y'all got a prison down there called Angola. Yeah. Say, man, I have did time with niggas out the swamp. You hear me? I right. did times in swamp niggas, man. Uh, uh, I don't know what's wrong with y'all lose. There's some fucked up <laughs> niggas down there. I swear, I love y'all to death, but I don't know. I, I, I know everybody can't be like this. Yeah, I know what you mean. Man, I'm now, now, man, now. You done for me? That's why I guess we just country boys. <laughs> I mean, I be thinking, it's, you know, I mean, it be the one that's, it be some that ain't even on drugs. Something wrong with them. Yeah, man. Nigga, nigga, nigga ain't on nigga, no drugs. That nigga fucked up. That nigga fuck over you right to him. Yeah, yeah, that nigga got the drugs. Yeah, them niggas. Man, them niggas. Yeah, son, what is it, son? Get away from me, son. I liked it. That nigga, though. Yeah, that was a fool, though. Son, that, yeah, that, a nigga that say son sound like he'd be more from our area. Yeah, the one say son. Wardy, yeah. Wardy is more than yeah. you all Look at Wardy. Look at Wardy. What's up, mm. shout it? Ain't nothing down here, son. Ain't nothing going down around. Look at around. Who say around? You know, I've been around all them niggas, too. Who to say that? Yeah, the round niggas, they say, look at how round, check this out round, they stomp his feet and shit. Look at right. round, check this out son. I say, okay, these niggas, man, oh, different. Yeah, they is. That's why we no. say we just more cunt, but I be watching, but I have, one thing you can do when you go to prison, you all, re- you around different cultures of people. Everybody, because it's a state penalty. Right. I mean, from everybody from the state coming down here. From right. Kick Rock, Texas, to Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, and you can get to mingle with these niggas, talk to them, learn them, study them. Sit around. I wouldn't have knew nothing about nothing you talking about if I hadn't been around niggas like that. Right. Nigga, I wouldn't know nothing about how they, yeah, they were scrap business. But you can get to study these cultures. And I know when I hear y'all talk, 
But Louisiana, man, um, uh, <laughs> them niggas really, you know, I, I'm scared because, you know, I done ran into some Louisiana women down here, man, they, and they be filing the fuck over you. Yeah. And I ain't talking about relationship-wise. They be trying to keep something, son. <laughs> See, they're, trying to, they're trying to bury your drawers in the ground. There we go. Shit. There we go. <laughs> he just hit me with a long nose. Scotty Pippen. He knew what I was talking about. Hey, I mean, but, why, man? I yeah. mean, why? I mean, why do they? Do? I mean, I'm telling tell y'all something. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Them, them people came down here from the the, the storm and the rain and the, the culture change. Yeah. The, the fucked up thing about it, you know, them women down here told the women down here what to do. Yeah, man. And now these, these motherfuckers down here doing more than the women from down there doing it on the bullshit. I asked one bitch, excuse me, I asked one queen the other day, I said, you know, can I get the recipe? And yeah. the thing about y'all women, y'all won't tell it to nobody else. Won't give it up for nothing. Right. I think they don't even want nobody to know that they know that they know it. Right. But anyway, I was just checking, you know, the trap on it. Yeah, I, like, I like, you know, I, I know, I like to give the man behind the camera some mic too. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, but that 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 voodoo shit crazy. They they fuck with that in the three three seven too. But like I say, it's more in New Orleans. But they do uh, they do fuck with it from where we from too. Man, uh, it's, it's I crazy. had um, I had ran into a woman that put a curse on me one time. Yeah, tells them a crib. Can I burn up the camera, man? Let's go. I had a goddamn. I ran into a chick, you know, that put a curse on me one time. You know. It used to fuck me up. And you know, I had went out with her one time. I picked her up on the side. She was fine, breathing. I called her Jessica. So when I see Jessica. I see Jessica. I jumped in the car with her. We went to her. She said, baby, let's go chill. I was like, shit, let's go. So I was going to drop her off because, you know, I knew that she had a man or something. She was fine. I just picked her up walking to the store. And when she jumped in the car, she was so fine. She said, let's go get a room. So I said, what? So she said, I'm going to pay for everything. What? <laughs> How can I say no? You hear me? So I went to the room with. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking when Jessica took her clothes off. Fine as he, I mean, I mean everything didn't miss nothing. I can yeah. sit there and I watched that pussy. And I, I mean, you know, I, I did my thing. You understand me? I'm make a long story short. Me and Jessica, we turned that all night. Wonderful night. Ice cream and cake night. I'm telling everything we look perfect, bitch. I can't wait to do this again night. And I just met her walking <laughs> home from the store. God damn. <laughs> That shit was wild when I dropped off. I dropped off down the street. She said, where you stay? I stay right over such and such. Where you at? She said, I'm right here. And so goddamn, he said, you going to come pick me up again? I picked, picked up. I had, a, I had a nice caprice. I pulled up. I had a comedian caprice. I pulled up, picked up again. We rolled out again. Enjoyed our day again. That evening. Then that evening, we pulled her back up. She said, I got to get out and go, you know, woo the whim. And then she got the car. She said, you know who my man is, don't you? I said, you got a man? I knew this shit was too good to be true. Damn. Jessica was from Louisiana. And all her people was from Louisiana. They didn't know, you know. I didn't know. This is something I didn't know about. You understand me? But she told me when I met her. But my thing is about Jessica was well, when she dropped, I dropped her. She told me that she had a man. I said, well, you got a man. And when she told me who a man was, my eyes got big. I said, she said, Sam is my man. I said, Sam? I don't know no nigga named Sam. She said, I know a man. Not Mexican, Sam, is it? Uh, me, you know, mafia Mexican? Yeah. I said, yeah, that's my dude. I said, oh, shit, I can't mess with you. She said, why? I said, hell no, nah, I know Sam. I'll be around Sam. I said, oh, man, come on, nigga. Not the old man Sam. She said, yeah, old man Sam, that's my man. Damn. I'll be around old man Sam all the time. I said, I can't fuck with you, man. God damn. Oh, man, I ain't never seen you with Sam. She said, you won't never let me come out of the house. I said, what? I said, I know why. Shit. Yeah. How did this happen? Oh, man, so I cut off. I cut off like that. And I was missing yeah. the shit out of old Jessica. Yeah. Oh, when I got out of the car with Jessica, it was a fucking bee in my car. And then I looked in the car, and I found a card in my car that I ain't never seen. I don't got no fucking car. I don't even play cards. I don't even know how to play cards. Wow. When I picked up the card, the card didn't have no regular card, like a four or five. It had some pictures or some shit on it. I said, what the fuck is this? And there was a bee in the motherfucking car in the middle of the one. <laughs> wow. I said, this, you know, shit I didn't pay attention to. But I started paying attention to it. 
God damn it, you even never hear my boy over there. You going crazy. Say, you know. I got dropped out, came back and then I didn't see Jessica. Jessica kept looking for me. I told Jessica where I stayed that one time and I went around the corner. I seen Jessica sitting in my home by the name Champagne Lap. And I opened the door and Jessica was wrapped up. And for every reason I think about Jessica, the bitch just started popping up. And, you know, I would think about it and she would pop up. I didn't think nothing of it. You know, I'm a regular nigga. Man, I was just thinking about this bitch. You know, coincidence. You know how we think. Man, so I walk up on Jessica. She was in my partner lap. I said, well, like that, I don't believe in shit like that. I do believe in luck or bitches got, you know, just get some shit. Right. You, know, you know how those Texas boys are. We don't pay attention to the signs. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but watch this, though. Anyway, yeah, the signs was all in the car already, but I didn't know the signs because I had never been introduced to no type of shit like that. But anyway, to make a long story short, um, Jessica got in on me. One day she came out the house, and I seen she said, come here. She said, come here. She said, you don't fuck with me no more? And I said, no, Jessica, I can't fuck with you. You mess with Uncle Sam. She said, that's all right. She said, I'm going to put your name on the Blackbird's mouth. Uh-oh. Like, what the fuck? I said, this bitch went crazy holding that dope. You know, gotta be high. She's talking stupid to a country nigga. To a nigga that don't know no better about nothing. Now, now this whole gone. Now she's skitsing. Now she's tripping. But what I don't know, she do know that I don't know what she just said. I'm gonna say that right. again. What, she, what I don't know, she do know that I don't know what she just said. Right. Yeah, she don't know that, but, but you know, she know. But anyway, um, I didn't pay the shit no attention. Um, one time I seen a dog, a cat in the street that got ran over. I swear to God, he was laying there in the street. Jessica had a black dog, and Jessica always wore black. I didn't think shit about it. Uh, one of the girls in the hood that did drugs told me, she said, I see you better. She, she said, I seen your ass with Jessica the other day. She said, you better stay away from that girl. That girl a witch. <laughs> I said, all these everybody hiding a motherfucker around. Is it, we got some regular women around here somewhere. No regular women. No, no the shit I want to meet. Every yeah. time I see somebody, somebody got something stupid to say or crazy to say, because what they know that I know that he don't know. Right. Women, women don't tell their secrets like niggas do. Women don't want niggas to know nothing. They'll keep you, you be the last nigga to find out. She won't tell it on herself. But anyway, um, when the bitch said that um, a lot of things started happening in my life, started changing, I started noticing. The dude left, she was sitting in, um, he died, he got killed. I was like, Champagne, I named my son after his name was Champagne uh, Perrion Dunn was his last name. So I named my son Dunn Perrion. You understand me? After him, uh, that's one. That's my next to the youngest son. Uh, after he got killed. Damn. Jessica came to my house one day. I was sitting in my room with my girl, and I had my girl here on the lap. We was looking at I Love Lucy. And my girl here was on the lap, and I was rubbing her head like that. And uh, I started thinking about Jessica. I don't know why. Uh, she just came across my head. And all of a sudden, I had an apartment. I stayed in an apartment. You know, well, Jessica ain't never. I go to the front door, and I swing the door open. This is no lie. Right here in the guard, I open the door, and it's Jessica. I said, hey. what the fuck? I looked around to see where my girl coming. She said, what, what you doing over here? You know what she told me? She said, you were thinking about me, wasn't you? And she walked off. Damn. I closed the door. My girl said, who was that? I said, that wasn't nobody. Somebody had the wrong apartment. That girl ain't never, ever, ever knocked on my motherfucking door. Damn. Y'all know me. I didn't pay the shit no attention. That was crazy. I mean, why would you even come on knowing that I got She just, what? She said, you was thinking about me, wasn't you? That shit spooked me. I go back That's to the house. I don't pay the shit no attention. Then I move out there. I got to wait. I'm trying to get away because just that really fucked me up. Right. Um, but what fucked me up everywhere when I got away from her and she came to my house one more time and I meet her, you know, rendezvoused again. Damn. Like a fool. And uh, from that point, she said, I'm forever with you. You know, every time you think about me, I pop up. And when she told me that, I didn't know that she knew that. Damn. Guess what she did? She knew that I know that she didn't know that I knew that. She already knew that. Because she had did some whole shit. Watch this. I move away from the bitch and I get away because I said, man, I got to get away from Jessica. Right. I get a long way away from her, and guess what happened? She said, you can't never get away from me. You always feel me. Uh, let me tell you what her spell was. Uh, let me let me run through this. I don't want to waste your time. Right, we I good. run through the spell, man, and uh, I would break out in hives. When I started thinking about Jessica, the first time I knew something wrong, I'd think about her, and right in the middle of my back, so I'd get a itch right here. 
Damn. And that itch to go right here, and my whole back would break out like I was in a motherfucking honeycomb. Damn. I think I'm lying like a motherfucker. I'm telling you. Come to nah, find out I, they was I, called I hives. Yes, I, I would break out. And I mean, the shit would come on me, look like I look like I had just got out of goddamn wash nest. Uh, every goddamn world. I was fucked up. You know, it would happen so much. I went to my mama one time. I told my mama, I said, mama, uh, my mama was a minister. That's why I say in one of my battle raps, I say, uh, I'm a crib, but I had to go to my mama and ask her, please, the blood of Jesus over my life. Right. He ain't catch this. I told my mama, I said again, I told the world I'm a crib, but I had to go to my mama and ask her to please the blood of Jesus over my life. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when I went and told my mama, I said, mama, watch this. Because I knew my mama, she's well, uh, she's an ordained minister, she's real, you know, she's been in this, doing this shit for years. I didn't seen her make motherfuckers fall out, you know, with the real deal. Right. Yeah, I know that word. Right. <laughs> mama, don't touch me. <laughs> I tell my all the time, get your head away from me, mama. That don't pray for me in church and then I see what you be doing. She be slaying them in the spirit. I don't got time. But um, when I seen, I went to my mom sitting and watched this and I started thinking about it. I said, just wait a minute. I said, she said, what do you want me to watch, person? I just, I just want you to watch this, mama. And I went into my little old zone of what I would do and I would think about the girl all the time. It started happening. She said, now, person, what is that? I said, I don't know. I keep telling you, I keep breaking out. I said, Mom, I need you to pray for some uh, holy oil or something. I said, because every time, you know, I didn't want her to think that I was on some demon time shit. Because my mom, she'll pull out. I don't know if she do how to do exorcisms or not, but uh, before mom, I can get into the, what had happened, Mom said, pray for me, Mom. She said, you need to go to the doctor. But I ain't telling my mama what's going down because I don't want her to know I've been fucking up. Right. But anyway, make a long story short, I ended up going to jail. When I was in jail, I ran into this nigga that, 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 um, from Chicago, and um, he knew how to do underbraids. He said, nigga, everybody in Chicago know how to braid her. I said, right. nigga, ain't nobody braid my hair. And he said, yo, shit, never in the mother. He said, cuz. But I knew he was a square business nigga. Yeah, he was square He said his mom was African. She know how, he knew how to do over and underbraids. Nigga, I know how to do all that shit, nigga. From Chicago, he, um. So I went to the wreck yard. We was on the um, wreck yard one day, and I told him, I said, where you from, Scott? He said, yeah, man, you know, I'm all African and shit. When I said, he said, African, I, I, thought, I thought voodoo right. <laughs> for some reason. And so it came to my mind and asked him, did he know anything about it? Because in jail, it was still happening to me. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, my right hand to God, if, it wasn't, if I wouldn't have met that dude, I probably wouldn't have knew how to get the curse off of him. Right. Uh, and I went to that nigga on some real nigga shit like I went to my mom, and I said, uh, say, bro, uh, I think this chick put a curse on me. Uh, I be breaking out and shit. And he said, yeah, 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 you got one on you, homie. <laughs> that nigga was cool. He said, yeah, man, yeah, she got you, homie. Damn. I did it in front of him. That nigga say, hey. That nigga say, say, man, uh, yeah, yeah, she got you. He said, but let me, and that nigga gave me the best help in the world. You know what he told me? He said, let me break the curse for you, man. You got to believe in He said, you believe in God? I said, yeah. He said, don't believe in nothing else. He right. said, once you believe in it, it works on you. Right. When you don't believe in it, you don't give it no power. Right. So we, and I started thinking, I started thinking about what he said. And I said, yeah, because I believe in this shit, too. Because that's why, and it do work, it do a number on me. Right. Shit, it's fucking me up. But he said, the really shit in the world, you can't serve two gods. You can't have that on you. You have that on you. Because that right there is more powerful than that. Right. So you can't say that, you know, he said, you believe in God? Yes, I do. That's what you better act like. That's all you need to believe in. Don't believe in that shit. You can't have two of them because both of them will work on you. And God will let it work. Uh, when he told me that, and I had to say, yeah, and I, and I had to know full, full, full heartedly, yes, I do believe in God. And guess what? It went away. I played with it one time, and it came back. Because I started playing with it. And God said, hey, don't play with it. it ain't nothing to play with. Right. Because you see it's real now. And when I found out it was I never fuck with it again. It don't right. bother me to say, Jessica, 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 Jessica. I don't get an itch right. or nothing. I can say that nigga, and it was like candy man, candy man, <laughs> candy man, shit. That motherfucker going to pure. But um, I got that curse out for me. They let me know you women be some dirty motherfucking hoes, but y'all some dirty motherfuckers. Yeah, the women, the women. Yeah, they, 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 they'll do they'll it to do you. That, like he said, the jaws in the backyard, y'all be on some bullshit to keep a man just love him. That's all you got to do. Be yourself. You don't got to sneak because you get him the wrong way, it's going to end the wrong way. That's fa That's facts. <laughs> now, when you say uh, in a in a in a in a penitentiary, okay, 
You say that pen, the pen is mightier than the sword. At all times. Break, break, break that down for the people who don't know what that means. Um, you get a lot of bad exes to come to prison. Uh, no, no regards to the law. Uh, I'm already here. I'm not going nowhere. I got this much time, bitch. I, I'll be here for the rest of my life, ho. Your life ain't shit. Uh, ain't no way that, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, you might be in shape. You might go to the gym every day after work, but them niggas end up working out just as hard. Uh, you got some inmates that ain't no, ain't no big you, little me. It's always big me, little you. Why is that? Because I'm free. I'm locked up and you not, nigga. Uh, one thing sometimes officers got to realize, nigga, uh, the inmates let you go home. That's, 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 when you start thinking like that, you make your job easy and you go home easy. Yeah. But you got some guards coming that they, they overpower their authority. Uh, people don't understand these guys that work in these facilities. They doing time just like you doing time. They got to walk between these institutions doors just like you do every day. Right. <clears throat> they get home, they get a couple hours to go home, get some sleep, but they back locked up. But it's just like you. You get a couple hours to go some sleep, you got way back up the child. <laughs> See, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, so you got to take it in mind that they doing time right along with you. So some of them fucked up too. Um, you can't help them but be institutionalized when you work in an institution. Uh, some of them can't win the fight. Some of them ain't in shape like some of these guys. Some of them is just a nine to five. Uh, they cannot whoop these guys. They will, these guys will turn it and they know it. Uh, right. But, uh, we got one thing again, whoop them. See that right there? This pen, this pen will be you a whole new pad. <laughs> <laughs> You know where I'm going with that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they tell you the pen gonna be your pad for the rest of your life. <laughs> they get it, the pen to be your pad for the rest of your life. You understand me? And you get them niggas that pen and pad, and they start writing their life away. You get what I'm saying? Uh, saying that to say this, uh, this is some of their only weapons in there. Some of them known for this. Right. Some of them, them big motherfucking, big swole, crazy motherfucking, just throw it out like a mother, ain't fun to fuck with. Little officer John John with the big glasses that come to work, ain't got a muscle in his back, but that nigga got something on the side in his pocket right there. <laughs> when he put it out and put your name on it, that nigga had your ass living like you in. <laughs> that nigga had your ass in sink sink some motherfucking world. You hear? That nigga, little Johnny, will put you in a straight jacket with this motherfucker right here. Tough ass niggas. Big ass nigga. Bully ass niggas. Stand over Mr. John John when he come to work every morning, trying to get him to bring you a package in. You know, slip him something for a nigga, you know, threatening Mr. Johnson. Okay, was that a threat? Give me your ID. Take that ID. Oh, come get my ID. Well, no, no, go ahead. You can keep that. You, know, you just got to mean, get, just, just going to add that to the list. Uh, refuse to give me his ID. <laughs> yeah, there's another refuse. Mr. John, now come with that motherfucker. Go hit every motherfucking cone in the book. He can hit with you with this motherfucker. Less than two minutes. <laughs> he been driving this book for years. Put a little pad, a little yeah. put rule book right here and put his paper right there. Go through that bitch like and die knocks that motherfucker on your head by the time he finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, you, they, 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 they don't understand me. But I bet you niggas that call y'all self writers writers do. Hello. I bet you niggas know how to fill out the man David know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know for you niggas that know how to find loopholes in the game on your paperwork, y'all know what I'm talking about. He gonna have his nigga ass uh, up there uh, stayed away from Canada with this motherfucker. And guess what? You'll never come home with this motherfucker right here. Yo, I'm finna make parole. <laughs> Miss John John said, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you what? <laughs> shit, yeah. Oh, tough ass nigga. You the tough one. You the one that threat told me you were gonna do yeah, uh huh. I am I'm, I'm fearing for my life. You get your parole set off. God damn. Uh, you got somebody you got somebody put a complaint on you for you. Parole talk you got a complaint where somebody fear for your life. Your um, your victims have filed statement, you they don't want you, they fear for their life, so they set you up another God damn <laughs> Who the fuck keep doing that? The John John sitting there just sitting there just, yeah, they ain't worried about you, big ass nigga. You was tough enough, wasn't you? Yeah, you was tough when I was at work. You was tough, you were doing me dirty, you were fucking over, you cussed me, I was bitches. Remember I was whole? You even tried to throw some shit and piss on me when I walked by. 
Yeah, you try to get me. Yeah, you try to fuck over me real good, Mr. John John. Oh, you try to handle me because I went number five, three, five, four, and I worked in the prison system. And you about six nine and about five, six hundred pounds, and you way bigger than me. Standing over me like you Rick Ross, and I'm and I'm the midget on the Wizard of Oz. But you nigga know, the John John told you five times, quit fucking with me. <laughs> told you quit fucking just how you pouring that shit. Right now you doing it like this. With that pen, <laughs> he told you, quit fucking with me. Now take quit fucking with me. Then I tell you. And nigga pull that stick out, get to hitting you with that stick so fast. Look like he hitting you with a switch. Boy. Gotta right. catch that ditch. Now that, that went over their head. That's it. Nigga pull out that stick. Look at nigga pull that stick out and get to hitting you with that stick. That's how young niggas call it a stick. Get that stick out, get to hitting you with that boy. Look what y'all call it a switch. Be hitting him so fast, look like I'm hitting you with a switch. That's what he just told you. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, I know. I just break the bar down for him. They just went over their head. The nigga put out that stick and getting hitting you so fast, it look like he hitting you with a switch. Not I mean, the stick off the tree switch. Oh, man, these niggas, they lost, man. They lost out here. What, what, what is he talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll find out. You can start fucking with that pen. But one thing, like I told niggas, a pen. <laughs> it's mighty as in the sword, nigga. That, that pit of bad motherfucker. What? Hello. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, Let's go. Zero, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Trey, uh, they press charges on Trey. Well, you know, Trey pressed charges on his motherfucking self. He put it on himself. You see it? I saw it, but I, okay, okay. Well, well, you know, he, he, Trey put charges on himself. So zero not down bad for that. It, 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 I, I just yeah. said Trey put the charges on himself. Why does zero name got even come up, nitty? Because Trey put the charges on himself. What you know what I mean by that? Break it down. They just did the shit on camera right in front of everybody. Right. Shit. <laughs> you, ain't nobody got to tell it on you, nigga. Right. Yeah. We see like, it. Yeah. It's on. It's, it's, look. look. In front of the watch this so long. Because we think, what's the you some game? All right. you remember when it happened, though? Yeah. And they said the two officers that were standing there on the same thing, you didn't see them doing nothing. Okay, yeah. Okay, watch this. Do you think they motherfucking ass ain't got no heat? Bitch, hold on. What, what, what needy? Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on needy. Let me pull this out for them niggas. <laughs> this goes to the officers now. Them two officers sitting on that stand. Now guess what they got to do? That pit. Why <laughs> to get in that swan? <laughs> Now they gonna have to sit. Now they didn't help that day, but yeah. we gonna need their help right now. Yeah. You know all that he come from? Yeah, say Trey just chill. <laughs> Them niggas trying to, they gotta say they job. There was two officers. Right, right. Two officers. Now we didn't do nothing, but we gotta make something happen. Bitch, y'all got paperwork for days to be filling out. Right. Y'all better do something, say something, and make yourself feel like, you know, are we gonna have y'all badge, nigga. Right. I sit there and watch y'all do nothing while one man was getting jumped on. All y'all was doing was this. Get back. Hey, man, come on, man. I didn't see now one of y'all render aid or nothing. Right, right. Y'all just watched the man get his chain took now one of y'all made an arrest on the scene. Y'all watching the man get assaulted with bodily, bodily injury right in front of y'all on the scene and nobody's making an arrest. Two polices. We seen y'all. Y'all say now, nah, the first nigga that threw the punch, them white boys would be like, ah! <laughs> Shit. Them white boys would rush that nigga like he was on third and go. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Hello! Yeah. They attacking them nigga like it's 30 go. The first one threw a punch. That nigga sitting up there talking about some. Come on, man. Hey, hey, come on. Come on, man. Hey, fuck is y'all? Is y'all security or police? Y'all were police. Nah, yeah, bitch, y'all better put, put something. Y'all better put that mother. When you break it down like that, that hey, make that, quit that, playing that, with that, me. That, that make, that quit playing that with me. make a whole lot of We talking so real nigga shit. Like Everybody that. see the bullshit. We yeah. see the real shit. Yeah. Yeah, so guess where that paperwork coming from now? Yeah. Yeah, make it look good for him. We need that. Uh, no, he didn't have to snitch. Them two officers did all the snitching. Right. Hello. <laughs> Guess what? They were better than anything. Hello. Yeah. They on AT. Yeah, they work for the state. Ain't nothing better. One thing about the state, the state don't go against the state. Whatever them laws say happened, that what happened. Y'all better say something happened, bitch. We're going to have y'all badge too. Yeah. Don't worry, we got them. We got them, Trey. Don't worry, Zero. We got them, Zero. No, man, y'all didn't do shit. Don't worry, we got them. How y'all gonna get them? Y'all didn't do shit. Right. Nigga, we didn't have to. We got this. Hello. 
Nigga Zero looking like, wait, what the fuck that's gonna do, nigga? I got a goddamn look at my shit, nigga. My Jerry gun. Cause don't we seen that? We seen that. <laughs> we got this. Yeah. Bitch, we and y'all didn't have a nigga now, man. Fuck that. Everybody like, cause them niggas need they now, cause we see. Look, what better witnesses do you need in the world? <laughs> but them two right there that we seen, right? What that, that we seen, right? Seen it. Does that make sense? That make a lot of sense. You what what better idea. witness that we seen them see it? We don't have to say nothing, but they do. Zero don't have to say nothing, but they do. Right. Hello. Right. They better. Shit on the pen or be they pad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Let's go. Okay. Get on some other shit. Uh, the owner, you, you, you know the uh the restaurant thing, Dave and Buster's? No, sir. What's that here? It's like a big, uh, it's like a chain of big restaurants. It's a big arcade thing inside okay. of it. They serve food, but it's it's a chain all around the United States. Okay. And, uh, Dave and Buster's. It's something like a play uh arcade thing and a restaurant thing all okay. in one. But it's pretty big. A lot of people like go to it. It's in a lot of big cities. Yes, sir. And uh. I'm about to check it the, out. The owner, I mean, he, the owner who own all, pictures a chain all over the United States. So okay. obviously he's a millionaire, probably a billionaire. He committed suicide. Okay. The owner of that chain. Like, with all that money, all that, I mean, you own these big restaurants, mm-hmm. you know, all these restaurants, you know, and you kill yourself. Hmm. Like, what's your thoughts on that? It's like it's it's it's, it's compatible. Don't fucking with me. Yeah, we already in overtime. You know that, don't you? Need? <laughs> but watch this. You shouldn't even ask me. What's my what on that? Let me tell you what my toddler is. Yeah. Money don't buy love. Right. Hello. You right. don't quit fucking with me. Like, <laughs> you know? That's the best answer you can get. Yeah. For a rich nigga. Yeah. Hello. That's what we do this for. Uh, I, I, we don't be writing this, y'all. For all y'all think this shit is scripted and wrote, man, I just got to answer what Needy say. Don't think I just be prepared, because I know y'all even that nigga be having that shit wrote down somewhere. All I know. Right. But yeah, boy, I can tell you, this off off the head. Money don't buy love. You got a lot of people in this world with a lot of money right now ain't happy, man. He ain't the only one committed. We got dozens of millionaires that got the same story. You know how many millionaires got that story? You know how many superstars got that story? Suicide? Shit. That ain't nothing new. Same thing you said with all that money in the world. All that money. How can a mother, how, nigga, how the fuck can Elvis Presley go out like that? <laughs> yeah, hey, with all that money in the world. Man, I, I can certainly say, I'm going to say, how can Michael Jackson go out like that? With all that money in the world, Mike? Ain't nobody killed Mike. Mike killed himself. I know if you put a gun in my head and shoot it, it's going to kill me. I know if I put horse tranquilizers in me, it's going to kill me. See, uh, you can't blame others for your mistakes. What did I think about that? That's why I feel about that nigga. Money don't buy love, man. Right. Uh, these niggas ain't happy. It just, it just look happy to you because we ain't got it. Right. You know, when everything people see what they ain't got, they be like, shit, that nigga got everything. I wish I had that. And then they go like, shit, you didn't have this. That's I real. wish I had what you had. That's what real. he got? He got peace and happiness. What you got? Everybody wants something. They that's, won't give me nothing. That's real All I don't want to do is be happy. But you got everything and you're not happy? No, I'm lonely. I don't got what I want. Nigga, my dog died. What's, what's it go get you another one? But now nah, he the only one love me. Hello. Yeah, that type of shit. Uh, it be the smallest thing that people take their life over that you never expect for them to lose. Right. Uh. Uh. Just because you see people with a lot of everything don't mean they got what they want. Cause all they looking for is happiness. Uh. They probably looking for that certain someone that they don't want to be with, but that's all they want. Right. They will kill themselves over that. I just wanted that one person. I couldn't even buy them. Yeah, use that one person all the way to the grave. You understand me? Uh, that's that's a powerful question because uh, niggas that got it ain't even happy with it. 
Right. She, oh, oh, y'all think I was talking about money. I'm talking about life. Right. <laughs> they was happy with it. They wouldn't take it. Hello. Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy with mine. What's up? Uh, hey, uh, uh, <coughs> you know, I know you're OG and shit. I know you done uh, been in a lot of squabbles and shit before. <laughs> Uh, what's 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 the worst ass whipping you ever gave a nigga before, man? That I gave that, a nigga. Yeah, yeah. What, what nigga you whipped the the the, the worst? <laughs> man, uh, Tess McCrip, man. I was on this lunatic lin- called Lindsay. It wasn't a nigga though. It was a white boy. Um, All right. I really I banged on nigga, but I, I made the biggest mistake in the world to go into prison. And Decided that I could change history. Uh, one of the worst decisions to make. Uh, if I want, I would, uh, the change I was looking to make wouldn't come with a dinosaur bone. Uh, and uh, it, it, it wouldn't happen. Uh, she and that was like she twenty something years ago. Uh, I decided to go inside a prison. Decided to, uh, to go to war with the white boys. When everybody had a racist symbol on. It pissed me off because I thought, you know. Uh, if it's fuck me, it's fuck you too. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, if it's fuck me, it's fuck you too. That's how I felt about that shit. And I never believed, you know, the shit that I seen, white boy shit, till they niggas start explaining to me. I didn't never know what 11 Trey was. Right. I kept seeing white boy with 11 Trey on 11 Trey. What that mean? They, they Crips too? I said, nah, nigga, it's 11 Trey. That's the 11 letter of the alphabet three times. I just said 11 trade, 11 letter of the alphabet, three times. Hello. KKK. I see you. Do your homework. Gotcha. Fuck you mean. Man, let me, you just said, let me, so all these motherfuckers ain't game burgers? <laughs> no, they just told you what they were. But ain't them the, the ones that hang the niggas, lynch the niggas, you know, in public, cut, castrate them in front of everybody, take their kids out there, kill them in front of them. That's them right there? Right there. <laughs> Shit. You don't see a big lightning bolts on that nigga, nigga? What the fuck is that? I don't know, but I don't know why these motherfuckers must be, they must like they cartoon characters. Why you say that? Because all of them got woodpeckers on them. Nigga, you like Woody Woodpecker too? He got a Woody Woodpecker on him too. Yeah, him too. What that stand for? Them the woods. Right. So what the fuck is the woods? That's another racist game. So the lightning bolts is a racist game. The 11 trays is a racist game. And now you telling me the woodpeckers is a racist game too? He said, oh, you forgot that sign over there too. What the fuck is that, nigga? Who's that, Hitler? No, nah, it's just a swash sticker, nigga. Ah, damn. Everybody got them on them. Oh, now you're catching on. All right. It's well, you just read, you didn't read his elbows? Let that say it right there. It said white on that side. And what did the other one say? Pride. Damn. Oh, God damn. White pride, swastikas, lightning bolts, woodpeckers. Now, what the fuck is the wizard for? He's a white knight. Damn. So what is these niggas? They the alphabet boys? No, that's just the AB. What that stand for? Aaron Brotherhood. So who is the AC? Oh, that's the Aaron Circle. God damn. Shit. So what you telling me? All of them is different games. Well, I ended up being on one, landing on one of the racist <laughs> units. They call myself being a hater. <laughs> Hello. And my dumb ass, not knowing no better, I went to war. Faithfully. Uh, I, ended up leaving, I ended up leaving that unit with 52, 51 and 0. Yeah. Uh, right here in the garden, no cap. Y'all want to go check my background record? Shout out to all my niggas that was doing time with me, like like uh, OG Little Evil that was on the unit with me. Uh, he did a, he did an interview with Diamond Stone. He'll tell you. Uh, niggas like uh, Terry Graves, niggas like Big Evil, all the blood niggas, uh, OG Nut that was over there with me, Big Dank that was over me, Green Eye Brandon that was over there with me, C Rat, all you niggas, uh, Little Sin Sin Simon, Ayo was over there banging with me, Riverside was banging with me. Yeah. Turned up, didn't I, y'all? 
Tell them I turned up on that hoe. Oh, That's heard, all they can tell you. I done heard you a lot. the fuck up. I done heard a lot of niggas. Oh, everything salute. and everything that came around, everything came through, bitch. I come through that bitch. But when I went to war with the white boy, that's how I left, 51 and 0. That was the hardest fight of my life. Uh, to fight, to fight, you know, the other side. And then the niggas turn on you. Hey. And say, nigga, that's all you doing, running around here whipping the white boys. I thought I'd have some help. <laughs> Every time I walk in here, one of you niggas got black eyes. They said the white boys gave it to you. <laughs> they said when the white boy, I said, what happened to the girls out? The white boy beat the shit out of the nigga. What white boy? Big ass white boy. God damn. Dust in the mouth. She, I can see. You, she, you don't need a, a crowbar to open that nigga eye. Shit. <laughs> How you open it? And you, got, you got to peel that nigga like, you got to peel that nigga shit back like this. Like you opening up a goddamn trunk or hood or something. That right. nigga out close. That white boy shit his shit passed out. God damn. You go back. Crazy shit. But anyway, can I get in one time? Can I did? I go to D. I had, I had fought a, D, a DWB. That stands for a dirty white boy gang. Motorcycle gang. One of the biggest biggest motorcycle white boy gangs there is. And let me tell you, you know, that's the hardest type of motherfucking white boy to fight. He's a biker. Hello. Yeah. Now you on, I had to fight a biker, and that was the hardest fight I had. And you know, I did him the most baddest, but uh, not by choice, right? By force, because he wasn't gonna stop. That's the first time I found motherfucker looked at him and said, "You know what? That's it, nigga. I quit." You know what I'm saying? That's um. Uh, that's that's um. Uh, that's the only time I looked at a motherfucker and said, you know what, man? I looked at his face. I said, that's it, man. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it no more. And I said, man, go in the mirror, look at yourself, man. He said, no, come on, man. Come on. Damn. Come on. I said, nah, fool. I'm through. You gotta you, look. You go to the mirror, nigga. You better go look at yourself, nigga. I ain't for the fuck with you no more. When he by the time he came and got him, yeah. he's like the elephant man. You, you, so I fucked him out. He like the elephant man. Fighting his bang. ass out. But he 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 got down on me for a bad reason. Uh, sad thing was I was trying to take up from him for some more niggas not to take his shoes. He turned on me. Uh, I'm trying to I'm letting them like I don't need no motherfucking help, homie. No white boy. <laughs> no, and they don't want no help from a nigga because that's a racist thing. When you're in a racist place like I was at, uh, the nigga help ain't uh, tolerated. He need, to, he, he need the nigga to help him. Now. You better not ask the nigga to help you do nothing. Right. You do what I'm saying? You a white boy you know, in a racist unit. That's making their kind look bad. That's what they say. You made that kind look bad. Yes, that nigga to help you, man. Well, when I was trying to help him because they were going to take his shoes. I told the nigga, nah, I'm chill, man. He, he like he cool. And one of the niggas stole off, pop, 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 to take his shoes. And I told him, hey, man, don't do that shit, nigga. Don't do that. He thought I had something to do with it. I'm trying to help him. But he decided he wanted to get down on me and stole off on me with his tray at the lunchtime. Just walked up and bam. I said, God damn. And I jumped up, nigga, me and him fought. Hey. I did him dirty. I did him dirty. He could fight, but I had some. Yeah. He didn't have shit. See, my thing in a fight, I ain't got nothing. Don't let me find out you ain't got nothing. Because <laughs> I'm going to look like I got something. <laughs> right. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. You hear me? I ain't got nothing. I try to everybody, leave me alone, please. I ain't got nothing. I'm scary in the motherfucker. Don't fuck with me. Please leave me alone. If you start something and I find out you ain't got it, shh. Right. They going to say, man, you know you wrong for that cause. Nah, I, mean, I ain't got nothing, nigga. He scared me. Y'all know my motto. I am very, very. You can yell at me too long, you're going to scare me. You know what my motto is? If you scare me, I'm going to do something to you. That's just me. That's my motto in right. prison. When I got locked up all the time, I said, Demerson, now why'd you do that thing to that man? She, he, he had scared me. Said, you know damn well you wasn't scared of that man. Yeah, he did. Because some people do things to you that are scare you. You know, I'm scared. You know, you're yelling at me too loud. I'm going to say, you going to hear me or what? You're going to scare me. I'm going to do something. I'm not one thing about me. I don't never wait for a nigga to do nothing to me. Right. Gee, I'm too scary. This nigga finna try. And that's where I fuck up. Because sometimes I do some shit and find out this nigga wasn't even finna do shit. 
Damn, man. What's wrong, Prince? Man, I just got six months in the county. Why, wow, man? Because I thought a nigga going to do something, man. I fucked up and jumped on a nigga, man. Yeah, I got about like seven or so with body. I go back to, y'all check my record. I got about like seven or so with body. And they say, if I come back one more assault, uh, they will enhance it and file a habitual criminal on me. Hey. I got damn. Well, keep your hands off people, pussy. That's why you need to be asking me to go fight in public because I just can't jump up and fight like y'all can. Right. You know, y'all, I might get out there and fight to prove something to everybody I got out there. But then when them people say, hey, you come here, didn't we just tell you? No, 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 no. You know, you know, he didn't say nothing, but we seen the state seen what you just did. You know, you had to fight the public area. <laughs> oh, ain't nobody got to say nothing. We seen it. Right. Hello. Then I just say about Trey, you don't got to tell it on niggas. You tell it on yourself when you do shit. Right. Okay, okay. Needy, we going to let him soak in it for a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's jump on this here. Go. DJ Pat, that's the uh, guy, you know, allegedly killed Takeoff. Uh, he out of jail on bond. But he, uh, they exposed, they, they got his address public. Uh, they got it public. He can't leave the house. Uh, he can't leave out the house. His address is public. Uh, what you think about that situation? He can't go nowhere. And his address public. And, uh, you know, he allegedly killed Takeoff. That must, that must mean they ain't got no strong evidence that he killed that man. Right. I don't think that man be out like that. That's the same thing I, I said. I don't think that man, uh, they must don't got enough evidence you know, to say that he's really the shooter. Because people can be arrested. Has, has, he, has he been, hold on, let me ask you. He's been charged with the murder. He's been charged with the murder. So, and so the, state, the state is 1,000 for sure he's the killer right now. They charged them with it. They said, from what I see, listen, you can't charge nobody with nothing if they if, if it's not if it's not from if they don't have the evidence, right? From, so so lit so so they saying he's the man. Well, well, um, uh, the research I did, yes, they said they got him on video pulling the trigger. They saw him. They 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 said they saw him shooting. Well, well, uh, well, uh, well. Let's move on to the, the next topic. Uh, let's, let's treat him like the killer now. <laughs> Talk to him like this. Got to treat him like the killer. Uh, I just got to say one thing about that. Uh, just like I told him about Terrence Gangster Williams. Boy, you lucky. <laughs> but you ought to understand, uh, when you in the system, you know, I hate to talk about this on the station, get you hot, man. It's going to get you hot. They're going to come looking. Let's, let's get uh, it. When I talk about the system, uh, you got to realize who you're dealing with. When you're dealing with people that get killed in the system, you have to deal with the system politics. Uh, had he been another regular nigga, that nigga wouldn't have had no gun. You understand me? When you're right. dealing with system, you're dealing with niggas that have the same money you can deal at Underground Railroad, too. Right. Uh, you're dealing with Jay Prince. You're dealing with the mafia family. Right. Uh, mob ties. You're dealing with shit like that, nigga, whatever the bond is, said it. Get it. That was bond. That's what they tell you. In right. Uh, especially when you fucking with the mob, niggas. Tony Montana, I'm your hitter. I'm Tony Montana hitter. My hitter ain't going to sit in jail. No fucking way. Get him out. Go get him out the fucking jail. My head don't sit in a fucking jail. What are you talking about? Uh, he, he don't have a bun. Make him a fucking bun. Right. Hello. Real talk. That's how my niggas move. Uh, when you got but um, we know how it going in too, mob. It, it look good to everybody, but y'all can ask um, you know, the rest of the greats that didn't die behind. You better get that right, right there. Good. Uh, the rest of the greats didn't die behind the bar. Shout out to Al Pacino, man. <laughs> you know, niggas that some of the greats didn't know to play the mob game and, and lose their life in mob fashion. Uh, R.I.P. to the homie Tony Montana. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it started off looking good, and then it don't end up. <laughs> we, you know, we just got to look at shit how it ends. Fuck how it started. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at how it ends. Uh, and right now it's at, uh, look like it's at the end for some of these fellas. Uh, shit out to niggas like they played the American Frank Lucas. You dig what I'm saying? We see how it started. We seen how it ends, but uh, he did his bit and came on home. But uh, to make a long story short, okay, right. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I know what I'm on. Let's go, man. Okay. Uh, see how the... How the 
Out of 65 charges, uh, Young Thug only left with eight charges. Um, there you go again. <laughs> you go picking at me again, <laughs> Nitty. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's your thoughts on all the shit? You know, the, all the other members taking the plea deals and Gunna and then oh. what's, your, what's, your, what's your chin put on all that YSL shit? Well, the answer to the first question is it only take one charge to stick, nigga. <laughs> you need to be acting like he's just something goddamn me young. Like they didn't just help me out or something. You down as five charges now, nigga. Free my cousin Twisted Black. Free my cousin Tommy Burns, man. Um, one of the hot, hottest young niggas that got caught up in the streets. First, one of the first hottest young niggas to ever get caught up in these streets before work chases. Um, on conspiracy charges with the federal rally boys and uh, they received um, a 60, 60, 60 life sentence, you know, 60, 60, 60 consecutive sentence. Uh, he went back on appeal and niggas was having and shooting and shouting and cheering and woo, woo, woo. And that's my cousin, you know, one of, the, one of the first, it's only been two multimillionaires to sign, um, it's only been two artists to ever sign a multi-million dollar contract behind bars. It's only been two artists in the world to ever sign multi-million dollar contract behind bars. You know who the first one was? Who that was? Tupac. So I saw a figure. Tupac signed with Death Row behind bars. You know who the second one was? Who that? Tommy Burns, my cousin, Twisted Black. No shit. Uh, yes, sir. He's the second person to ever signed a multi-million dollar contract behind bars, but... um. And that lesson learned, everybody's shit don't fly like everybody's shit fly. Uh, we seen Tupac get out just to be murdered. <laughs> yeah, that part. Right. Part of the system shit. It doesn't matter because really right. you don't make, you know. You know. Because you can ask my cousin Twisted Black. He was the second one. Uh, they gave him an appeal. After they gave him 60, 60, 60 in the federal penitentiary, you know. He went for the appeal. Let me let you niggas know that's doing real federal time. They be this and that and OG person on this feds shit. I ain't never been to the feds, and thank God. Nigga ain't never been to no feds, no. But I've been locked up. Let me tell you niggas something. A cage is a cage, nigga. <laughs> shit. Right. Your freedom is your freedom, nigga. I don't know the fuck where you're doing it in. I don't give a fuck if you locked in a goddamn bathroom, nigga. Hello! Nigga, you niggas tripping me out. Nigga, I've been to the feds, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You locked up. Saying that to say what, well, Percy? Uh, if these niggas don't catch on quick, we're going to lose a lot more of them. Right. Uh, when Twisted Black got caught up, that was, that was fucked up. These niggas going here, you ain't coming home. The, the, the game is not to come home. When they tell you niggas, y'all come up for a pill, you know what that means? <laughs> I'm going to throw that at hope. I'm going to throw the... I'm gonna throw you the alley oop off the board so you can, you know, I'm gonna throw you the peel off the board. That mean you nigga got some more money out there we can peel you for? That what that peel is for? Right. Are we finna peel it? Man, go peel that nigga for the rest of the change he got. Right. Yeah, you niggas putting them 30 racks and 50 more racks up for them appeal. Yeah, I just paid for my appeal. <laughs> yeah, y'all just giving away money. That's just, cause that's what's finna happen to you. You finna get peeled, nigga. <laughs> you hear me? No, we ain't finna get your time out. I just told, like my partner just said, like Nitty just said, man, this man got how many more charges hanging on him? Just how many? He got him down to how got, many? He got eight, from 65 to 8. So he just down to 8 charges. Down man. to 8. Down to 8. Oh, let me throw this in there. We Go with, ahead. With the 8 charges, uh, the state reached out to Lil Wayne, Birdman, Rich Homie, YFN Lucha to, to testify. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, so they just gonna make your shit uh 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 celebrity status. Uh like you <laughs> niggas gonna really beat the system. Well you know the don't shit. Have another, just say, man, don't play with your freedom with these bozos, man. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Uh keep going, go on, go on, let these niggas set you up for a motherfucking failure. Everybody's shit don't end like OJ, dude. But I think they're getting Wayne in there, you know when they shot Wayne bus up and all but, that but shit. I mean, I mean, oh. Yo, thug, you know that was in the shit when they shot. Oh, oh it ain't looking good. I mean, they, you mean, you mean they, they getting them to testify against? Him? Yeah, because shot. shit didn't happen on that nigga watch. I mean, yeah. you know, they. Asked, I mean, you know, some of that shit just, you know, 
fresh talk. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they ain't finna turn it. Let me tell you one thing these people ain't finna let you niggas do is turn the judicial system into a fucking playground. Hello. Right. Y'all can sit here and play soap pop on this internet all day. Y'all can sit here and play this motherfucking tweeters and, and blogs and shit all day, but uh, that shit don't fly in the court of law. Right. You got walking there with them real suits and cases. You got walking there with them real suitcases. They didn't catch that niggas with the soups and the cases. What's in them soups? <laughs> them cases, nigga. Right. Yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't come in to play um, rap with you niggas. You niggas really just like a whole bozo, earrings in your motherfucking nose, shit hanging all out your goddamn, looking like a whole clown, and think you finna go in here and that smart some Harvard University graduate. Oh, y'all, oh, I forgot. Y'all don't even think like that. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Y'all don't even, can't think like that. I ain't never went to Harvard. <laughs> niggas give you an English test, you niggas wouldn't be able to pass it, and say the same word. This this fellow was um was at such such courts at a point of time, and nigga, what the fuck? And just said the lie. He appeared to seem like. Uh, so what do this mean right here? Ain't it in English, nigga? All right. You should be able to read English. Oh, but don't worry. Since you can't read English, we'll get you an interpreter. What, what's the interpreter called? An attorney. Hello. Right. For all you smart niggas that think y'all know everything, but can't even read a um a statue of limitation that's written on you. <laughs> Hello. Well, I'm back in jail because you didn't read it. You didn't read this. Cause you didn't read this part right here. That's what it told you you don't supposed to be doing. Oh man. That's, and that's the first thing you did when you got out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Now, nah, man, uh, uh, Johnny Crocker is gone. Yeah. That's the last circus you'll see in the courtroom. That's the last time you niggas been walking in and shine and run out again. Uh, like I just told you, I didn't seen shit go and come around, nigga. And one thing I have seen go and come around is the racism, too. To where it gets a little stronger, but um, a little blinder too at the same time. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's stronger, but you niggas just can't see. Boss, that's what I mean by the blind part. Right. <laughs> Let's go.